One by one, they take me back to the days when you were mine. And I can't stop this jukebox in my mind. Jukebox in my mind, little Alabama for you tonight. Uh, lead guitarist and singer Jeff Cook uh, uh, passed away a week or so back and just want to do tribute to uh, uh, their music and uh, just had some great stuff out there. I've got a few of their songs out already, but uh, anyway, I'll be trying to put some more out of there, but uh, I did a cover on this if you want to check it out and you can follow along with that uh, uh, and uh, we're going to play it in the key that they do it in. My name's Keith Williams, by the way, with Fretmore Guitar Lessons, where we fret more, stress less, and make a whole lot of music. If you like what we're doing, and like this video, and it helps you out, uh, give us a thumbs up on this, uh, uh, like it, uh, really helps us out a lot. Uh, comment on it, makes a big difference, and subscribe to us would help as well. So, uh, anyway, uh, uh, we're going to capo up one, and I'm going to go through the chords here with you, and I, I think I tried to stick with everything on the, I, I had several takes on the cover for some reason and I just kept I'd have one little part I'd goof up and I'd just start all over so there may be times when I'm not playing the chords exactly the way. I mean I'm going to show them to y'all here but I may have like the e, the E7th for instance I may have forgot to do that a few times but I'll show you where that's at and we'll uh, we'll get we'll get it right in the lesson here anyway okay so we're going to be uh, capoing up one and we're going to be in the A position here so if you want to call that uh, B flat or A sharp, whatever, I'm not going to get into that. We're just going to call it what the position is. And I play it A with two fingers. You can get it with one finger or two or three or whatever. All right, and we're going to have a D in there. We're going to have an E and an E7. Just raising that ring finger up there, uh, if I remember to do it. <laughs> and then uh, an A7 too, which uh, you know just raise off that third uh, string, the, the G string there. Gives you an A7 chord, okay? And then we've got a B minor, okay? And you got, we're doing a, a bar chord there, but you could you could get it by just grabbing that first string, that E string there on the second fret. Strumming four strings if you want to, if you can't get the bar yet, okay? And, uh, and we've got a B7 in there too, okay? You can play a B, but you, that would require a, uh, uh, a bar chord, and I'm not, I don't like to do the bar chords if I don't have to, so I used to play a B7 in place of that B, okay? Now, um, we've got a few little licks that I'm going to show you, and there's a lead part in the middle. I'll show you that as well. Uh, it's not exactly like Jeff does it. <laughs> I don't know anybody can play exactly like Jeff played. He's just awesome. Um, but anyway, it, it's kind of close. As a matter of fact, I kind of goofed it up in the cover, uh, but I'll show you the way. And, then, and re really, uh, the way I was wanting to play, it's not really the exact way anyway, but I, I just liked the way it was. And I, I, when I got to, the, to that part, I kind of... I goofed it up and played something different. But anyway, so they start out, of course, the quarter drops and you hear the, all that stuff. But so we're just going to, I'm just going to strum the, the A chord, okay? And we're going to jump right into this thing, uh, starting out with the chorus, okay? In the corner of my mind stands a jukebox with an E. Now, what I'm doing there is I did just a, just I'm doing a little hammer on. On that, on that fifth string. And I'm kind of grabbing that fourth string too. And one time I do I slide down. I'm, that's just, I'm just doing an open fourth string, but I'm doing, I'm sliding down on the fifth. So you can do whatever you want to there. You don't have to do anything if you don't want to. Because uh, it's not exactly what he's doing either. It just kind of fills it in a little Okay. Um, so in the corner of my mind stands a jukebox. So I'm just doing a hammer on fifth string, fourth string on the second fret. It's playing all my favorite memories. Now, that's a cool lick. I'm going to show you that one. The only thing about it is you, there's a little bit of a delay there because you, if you're just playing by yourself like I am here, uh, it's kind of empty there for a little bit. It seems like a little pause, a little blank spot. So you again, you don't have to do that, or maybe you can do it a little better to where it doesn't sound empty. Uh, but that little lick is this. Uh, we're on the fifth string here, uh, second, third, and fourth fret. Just walking down. And we're grabbing the G string or the third string on the second fret. Isn't that cool? Now the other lick, there's, there's 
uh, I do it differently on down the, the, the line there the second time on the second chorus. And we're on the uh, fourth string here, uh, starting at the, uh, what is that, the tenth fret, okay? So it's tenth, eleventh, twelfth, fourth string. And then we're grabbing the B string or the second string on the eleventh fret. Okay, see that there? Okay, so I did it one way. Uh, I do it mostly up here since I'm singing, because if I have to, I have to look and go down here. And I, that was one of the times I goofed up and had to redo the whole song because I, I really botched it up there a little bit. So again, that's just something you can throw in if you want to. Okay, so uh, uh, in the corner of my mind says you box play. It's playing all my favorites. See, I missed it again. There's the E7 right there. Favorite E7. And again, if you don't do the E7, it ain't gonna, it's not going to hurt the song. Uh, but anyway, it, it is in there, pretty sure. Favorite memories. Here we go. All right, one by one, they take me back. A7. And then we're going to D. To the days when you. Now, there's a little walk up here. I'm not sure the best way to do this because I've seen some tabs out there, some chords, and they had it, and they had an F sharp minor, and I'm pretty sure it's not an F sharp minor. Pretty sure it's not an F sharp minor. So what I did is I'm doing a walk. Uh, so I'm doing a walk up to the days when you were mine. Okay, so here's the, here's what I'm doing. In the days, D, that you, and I'm grabbing um, the fifth string on the uh, fourth fret with my pinky. The days when you were mine. Then I'm grabbing the B minor, okay? The days when you were mine. Okay? So that's going to be the same way in, in the course each time. And I, I go to E, sorry. I can't stop this jukebox in my mind. It's kind of low right now in there. Uh, so if, if any time when a song is too low or too high for you, uh, the capo really helps a lot. So if it's too, this song's too low for you, for instance, Move that up a little bit. Move it up one. Try it there. Uh, same positioning. Same. Same. All, all. You don't have to change anything. Just move the capo up one, or move it up a couple, whichever works for you. If it's too um, too high for you, you can go back one. That's about all you can do and stay in those same positions. But you could you could take it off and just play it in the open A and E and D positions there. Okay. All right. So here's the. Uh, um, we're gonna do a little walk down. I'll show you that too. Uh, here's the uh, uh, the first verse. So we're going to do on the sixth string, got an open sixth string, and then we're going to walk down from the second to the fourth. So it's just with that one, two, three, and then going to the A, just playing that A chord. So it's just open sixth string, uh, second fret, fourth fret. Okay, that's our E string there, the sixth string. And and that's a great little walk down to in a lot of country songs that you can do that. I don't need no quarters. goes to the E7 there or not. Filled it up forever. You could do the E7 there. When you say goodbye. Heaven knows I love all melodies. There's our A7. Uh, where am I at here? I lost my place. I lost my place. that same thing only the, that time like I say I'm going down here when I, when I come down to that part of it there uh, it's playing all my favorite memories okay so I do it that that time all right so there's the chorus now after the chorus then uh, uh, we're going to do this little lead part and it's going to be on the B string the second string starting on the let's see three the fourth the fifth fret we're doing the fifth Seventh, the ninth, and the tenth. And then we 
we're going to go up to the third string and do a little something there. I'll show you that. Okay, so that's kind of where we're staying. Then we're going to go to the, the first string here in a minute, okay? All right, so I'm just going to try to slow it down for you. We're all on the second string here. See the frets there? One, two, three, four, five. Starting on the fifth fret, seventh, and then uh, ninth and tenth, okay? And on the, the third string, sliding down from the fourth to the sixth. Okay, I grabbed that second string. Okay, then we're going to start down here on the what, seventh fret. So I'm on the, the first string. So I'm grabbing that one. And then I'm, I'm doing a little hammer on on the second string there, going down to the uh, tenth fret. So the eighth to the tenth. Well, shoot, I forgot. I'm gonna have to, let me play the whole thing real quick. <laughs> when I try to stop it and break it down, I forget. So there's the first part. So I did that on the on the G. And then what I was wanting to do was Okay, so starting on the fourth fret, going fourth, fifth, sixth, and then grabbing the first string on the fifth fret. Okay, so all together it's One more time. I'll show you one more time. I'll get you. See if you can see it all there. Okay. I wish I'd remember to do that part on the cover, but anyway, it don't matter. Uh, all right. So then we go into uh, the little part, which is kind of the. Uh, it's 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 similar to the last part of the first chorus. Uh, just instead of uh, heaven knows I love the, those old mem or those old melodies. Uh, this is song by song those melodies. Okay, song by song those melodies. A seventh were meant to ease the pain. B seventh, but the time has played on my mind. Try. walk down but not like that okay <laughs> driving me insane in the corner of and you go through this through the chorus again the way i did it because they 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 do some different stuff because they're playing that quarter play it sounds like the needle hitting the record and all that stuff um so when i do the the chorus this time uh when i go to stop because that's where they stop they and i can't stop and I just grab my strings. I can't stop this jukebox in my mind. And then I just sang it a cappella there. Okay, no music. In the corner of my mind stands a jukebox. It goes to E there, sorry. Jukebox. Do that little lick again. And then I just did the I just did the chorus again. Okay. And I did a little ending, but you don't. I'm not going to show you the ending because I was kind of goofing around there, really. Um, I don't remember what I did now. Uh, and I can't stop this jukebox in my mind. I'll show it to you. What the heck? I'll, I'll show it to you. I'm not going to break it down, though. It starts on the fifth string, goes to fifth, fourth, and third. We're, we're kind of walking down on the second and fourth fret. Grabbing the B, the B string or the second string, sliding down on the third. Okay, starting on the fifth, going to the fourth, going to the third. Sliding down on the third, grabbing the sec, second, and sliding back on the third. And 
You can do that lick on other songs that you're playing in that A position, so that works for you too. Anyway, I tried to keep it short as possible. It's 15 minutes in there, but anyway, a lot of little licks that you can use for other songs, not just this song. Uh, anyway, if you could give us a thumbs up on this, it really helps us out. Subscribe to us, leave us a comment. Uh, share us on social media. Check out our uh, links. I'll have a link to the cover down in the description as far as uh, plus some other links down <laughs> links links how about that just some more links down there and uh, anyway I uh, appreciate y'all tuning in as always and we'll see y'all in the next one thanks <laughs>